Now that I have a sawmill, I have to feed it. Oh, girdle trees that are good for the mill, or will be. So the sap won't flow. I'm not going to cut down every tree in the forest today. I envy those of you who own flat land with lots of tall, straight trees. My land is not flat, and the trees are not straight. That uh, middle one looks good. Some curve at the bottom, bottom eight feet. Straight after that. The only thing wrong with curved wood is there's a lot of tension in it. And when you saw it in the boards, it splits. But all the rest of the way up, it looks really good. Not good so far. I'll cut this one up high. Get away from this curve. I'm going to drop it straight down here where it's open. Good thing I wasn't wearing new jeans. This idle's too damn high at the moment. Of course, I don't have a screwdriver, so maybe you know, that's a good time to quit for the day. I don't want to be hit. Cutting down trees is fun and easy. Cleaning up the branches is not.
plan was to throw the rope over that tree and with a turning block use the ATV winch to pull the tree off to one side and down. It worked, but I didn't get it on camera. Another one. Well, that did it. You didn't get to see it because the camera turned over. But I lifted the butt off the stump, dragged it this way, and the tree fell down. Get his branches off and I'll haul that straight down the hill with all my ropes tied together. Hold straight down to the driveway. That might be the way to go with these. Making progress here. The ATV is anchored to a tree so the winch won't drag it. I have a cable run out down the driveway and hooked to the rope that is tied to the tree which is all the way up the hill. all the winch can do. We'll slack it off a bit and then walk up the hill to see what the problem is. The tip of the log has buried itself under a tree root. Well, I didn't want to cut the root of a living tree, so I cut off the tip of the log instead. But as soon as I started to move the log, it dove right back under the tree root, and I had to cut the tree root anyway. And now, now I can get it to move. And boy, did it move! Well, now. That went better than I expected. No idea where it is in terms of the rope, so we better go find out. The log followed its own line, not the rope. So the log ended up on one side of some trees with the rope on the other. So I had to untie it and retie it and start again. So I had to clear some brush, untie the rope, reroute it, and tie it on again, and then make my way down the hill to the driveway. The terrain is very steep. I'm very careful, but no matter how careful I am, I fall on my butt from time to time. A 
Is that rope? Right up there in the blackberries. I'd thrown the rope as far as I could down the hill, and there it is, just out of reach. Well, that was easy. If you don't count the preliminary work. Are we back here somewhere? If I'd realized how far that had driven into the ground, I'd have moved the chain down to the bottom and minimize loss from breakage. Well, this is not the way to bring logs down, not one whole long piece. <laughs> and kind of they break. And they're difficult to manage. My next plan was to cut them to board length. and then tow them down in groups of three or four. Real danger of this overrunning me. But we'll see how it goes. I couldn't get the image of that first log scooting down the hill out of my mind. But this group of logs behind the ATV was docile and did not try to get ahead. Four logs at one time, not bad. I realize the camera is not straight, but I'll fix that in a minute. Well, three logs at one time, still pretty good.
Well, two out of four ain't bad. Well, there's two of them. There's the third one. And these are all firewood. You probably find that brake squeal annoying. It's been annoying me for 20 years. Chain seems to slip off too easily, so We'll try tying them with rope and towing them with chain. We're probably getting a little bit bored with this trip down the hill, so we'll speed it up a little. So much for speeding up. There went the top rung of my uh, all-terrain ladder. Hey, they're all here. My cant hook is really a timber jack. The uh, stand is removable. That makes it a cant hook. But sometimes a timber jack is handy. Got firewood. Two for the mill. Go back up and get some more for the mill. My first job when I was a kid was setting pins in a bowling alley. Developed a strong back.
Yep, there's a stump in the road. Now what? I don't understand the f is sticking on what? Obviously the log on the left is hung up on something. I cannot figure out what it is. Normally when there's tension on the toe, as soon as you lift the uh, as soon as you lift the log above the obstruction it jumps ahead. But, not this time. I admit defeat and decide to pull two at a time and come back for the third one. What this day is teaching me is that I'm better off towing one at a time. That will save me time and aggravation. I really do need to get some gravel in here one of these days. I never did figure out what that was hung up on. Well, that was a lot of work for not much grist for the mill. I will continue to develop methods of getting trees out of my woods. Um, sometimes I'm a slow learner. With luck, I'll figure out a good system before I run out of trees. There are more trees, but they're farther up the hill. We'll get to them next time. Thanks for watching.